Whenever I meet really successful people, I often hear some version of the same message. This message is simple, and it goes like this. No matter how many accomplishments these individuals accrue, no matter how much wealth they accumulate, or how many possessions they have, they still tend to encounter feelings of dissatisfaction, restlessness, and boredom. Great achievements are not easy to come by. The beautiful vacation home, the prestigious education, the enviable car. These individuals have worked hard for these things. They sacrificed. They exchanged them for their hard-earned money, for their time, for their energy. Beautiful things and accomplishments are no doubt satisfying and enjoyable, but are they enough? Every one of us, at some point, has experienced the frustration. The frustration of setting a goal and then reaching it, but then only to have that high wear off. When a person earns and earns and is still not satisfied, it only shows that money can't be the ultimate thing that they can achieve in life. What goal can we set for ourselves that is more permanent? The ultimate goal leaves us with no need for anything else after we achieve it. We are perfectly content. Until we reach that ultimate goal, our soul will not be satisfied. So what goal can we set for ourselves that won't bring about these common side effects? The ultimate goal is one that leaves us with no need for anything else after we achieve it. One that leaves us perfectly content. Until we reach that ultimate goal, no amount of success is going to be able to quench that inner restlessness. No amount of money will calm an inner sense of poverty. No amount of material safety will quell an inner insecurity. Of course, having material success is great. But if you don't also have inner peace, then how are you going to enjoy that success? To find peace in the outer world, we must first find it within ourselves. The outer world is always in flux. There is only movement and change, and there is no certainty or settledness in movement and change. But the inner self operates in a different dimension. It is in the inner world that we can truly find the peace that we crave. We find these qualities in our hearts, and once we do, we can externalize them too. When we live with joy in our hearts, then we can bring that joy into every interaction. When we live with wonder in our hearts, we bring a sense of openness to each new experience. When we live with stillness in our hearts, we don't have to pursue tranquility in our environments. We bring tranquility to our environment. When we're truly living from the heart, it doesn't matter which environment surrounds us because we're not waiting for the world to fill us up. We're not out to capture joy or finagle meaning. Instead, we become the ones who create beauty around us, who cultivate meaning, who radiate a sense of abundance in everything we say and do. The most significant transformations that we undergo in life always originate within ourselves. They happen when we're able to quiet our minds, quiet our thoughts, dissolve our egos, at least to the extent that we can hear the signals from our hearts, which will then continue to guide us. When the heart is at peace, the mind is at ease.